I never intended this to be this extravagant, but we have a quarter of a mile go-kart racetrack we have the Mario Kart home circuit attached to this cart. We have the four gates. Okay, so I'm pulling up on the first gate <laughs> and it acknowledges the first gate. So everything's so far so good. So I'm about to create, hopefully, the world's first three quarter of a mile Mario Kart home circuit course. I think the game is very confused right now. Gate two is still a long way away. I am slightly worried because the map has disappeared from the screen. Wait, 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 wait. I can still do it. Let me explain how I got to this point. First, we need to go back to now because <laughs> I haven't actually bought the go-kart yet. This idea to take a go-kart that can go 25 miles an hour and turn it into a actual working Mario Kart that integrates with the home circuit game. It started in a very unlikely scenario. I have a podcast. I haven't bought anything in forever. Nothing fun, nothing exciting. I haven't gone anywhere and done anything. And I'm starting to feel that urge to make a big purchase. So I'm gonna pass it on to people listening. If you wanna tweet at me, DM me with big dumb purchases and I will buy one of those. I, I don't care what it is. It can be anything. Now I got a ton of replies. Uh, a lot of them were good. <laughs> Plant growing case kit thing and you can you can buy, hmm. you can grow whatever you want year round. Now, whatever you want, whatever you want. But the one that really caught my eye was this. They're called Ninebot, right? That's the name of the, the company. And they make these go-karts and they are made for drifting. You can hit 23 miles an hour. <laughs> wow. How much is it in turn? Uh, it might be a couple thousand. I'm not sure. It's it's a it's bunch of money. $2,000. I don't think I've ever spent $2,000 on anything, which is why I started to think, how do I make a go-kart equipment for my YouTube channel? The answer was obvious, Mario Kart. But what was a little less obvious was how I was gonna make that work. Cause I didn't just wanna dress up the go-kart and put out a few obstacles and get out there with the camera and be like, oh, look at me, I'm playing Mario Kart, whoopee. I wanted to do something more complex. There is a lot I need to figure out for this to even work. Uh, to start with, and I already know the answer to this, I need to figure out if we need to use the gates. How we're gonna use them, I don't know, because this little guy can very easily fit underneath here, but the go-kart I'm buying might be a bit of a stretch. So the course is set. I have to go through the gates. I don't think I can now move the gates. So yeah, the gates have to be part of this for this to work. Because what I'm thinking is if we take the big go-kart and we stick this onto the front or onto the side and have it come along with us as we're moving, that could work. For any of these ideas to actually work, this guy needs to be able to go through these gates without the wheels actually moving. And I don't know if that's possible. Spoiler alert, it wasn't. I quickly came to realize that the cart needed to be level with the ground to work. So any notion I had at that point of strapping Mario to my head went out the window. The only thing I can think of is attaching it next to the cart and having it run along the ground with the cart. I sound defeated here because I kind of was. At this point, I thought my test had proved this idea to be improbable, but you know, I want to pull it off. I want to make this happen. Fortunately, it is on sale. Uh, uh, three, two hundred dollars off. It's two hundred dollars. Uh, sadly, after tax though, it bumps back up to two thousand. So it's not really like I'm saving anything. <laughs> Okay, we have to set this up. <laughs> yeah, all right. Oh God, it's pretty heavy. Oh shit, actually it's really heavy. Fun fact, I actually hurt my back doing this and couldn't move later that night. It happened right there. It comes with a, a Bluetooth speaker. <laughs> I'm not really what sure why. Doing? When I answered the door, the delivery driver, I don't think he had to be there. I think he wanted to see who bought it. 
because when I opened the door, he was like, have fun, and that's all he said. <laughs> yeah, I will. Okay, quick start, that's what I want. I want a nice quick start. So you gotta install the spoiler, install the engine speaker. Oh, so it makes it sound like a go-kart because it's electric. <laughs> I don't know, it's kind of cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. Long story short, we had to build this thing, put it on charge, and then download an app. You're giving me all these instructions of things I should and shouldn't do, but I'm more worried about all these screws that I didn't get to put in. <laughs> That's just extra stuff. I hope so. You don't need it. Oh, it's going. <laughs> Did you just blow a tire? No, that was me running over a strap. Congratulations, I'm verified. I got my license. I can now go the full speed limit. I want to ride this thing right now so bad. Let's just go take it out to like some like random road or something where it's like we don't have to worry about traffic anymore. Okay. What are you thinking? <laughs> thinking I love my life right now. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna drive it, test it out, see how I feel. I'm really not even thinking about the video right now, if I'm being honest. I'm thinking about driving a go-kart. Not a huge acceleration. That's because you have it set to safe mode, you idiot. Dude, it's not going very fast. I wonder why. <laughs> That's so stupid that it's a speaker. It's still kind of slow right now. Wait, yeah. safe mode? Oh, that's what it is. That's what it is. It's safe mode. Sports mode. There we go. Current speed limit, 28 miles an hour. Okay. He got that so much faster. Oh my God. That's so much better. Just wait till he realizes that's not even the fast mode. 25 miles an hour without a helmet on. Okay, it's really good. <laughs> Dude, it looks like you're about to fly off of it, man. <laughs> the drifting feels crazy, dude. Yeah. It doesn't feel like I should be staying on my wheels. So we got sports mode and track mode. Track mode's 37 kilometers an hour? Wait, hold on, it can go faster. Damn. It can go faster. Damn. Oh, wait, hold on. No way. That's, this is a bad idea without a this helmet. This is not a good idea. <laughs> Holy shit. At this point, I feel obligated to say, kids, always wear a helmet. <laughs> Dude, that's ridiculous. In kilometers, that's 40 kilometers an hour. That's how fast a car goes down side streets. You wanna go? Yeah. I would later regret asking that question. I still don't know what that part is, but I hope I don't need it. You know why it's so fun? It's because when you ride a go-kart, you usually have to ride it in certain places. Like, oh, oh my god, <laughs> like, <laughs> probably for the best, but at like a carnival or a bumper cart ride, you don't ever just get one to do whatever you want with it. After Billy was done breaking my go-kart, Oh, did it break it? Yeah, you did. So this is how much more fatter I am than you. Oh, Wait, it's, I don't think fat's the word. It's more how much thicker you are with two thicker? C's. Okay. Yeah. Now the next step is figuring out what we're going to do as far as getting the Mario Kart attached to it to actually race this thing in the game. So, I mean, if you want to drive home, I'll just follow you. Okay. Oh, okay. Wait, he was serious? This thing's battery is about to die. But you know what batteries almost never die? Raycon. Hold on, let me get a little closer. Raycons. Because Raycons have six hours of playtime, and this little case that you carry them around in also acts as a charge bank, charging them back up when you're done. <laughs> like a miracle of science. They're almost as cool as this thing. No, they are as cool as this thing. Sorry, Raycon. Wait, what if I did the whole read while I was driving around? Do it, do too. Okay, Raycon have great sound, more bass, and a comfortable fit. They're noise isolating and come in a wide range of fun colors and patterns. I probably don't have to yell because the, 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 the left is right here. You can probably hear me. Uh, I can't really read this that well. Oh, it says that I use mine when I'm working out, which is very true. But I also use them while I'm riding around in the go-kart. Hold on. Probably shouldn't do that. It's probably not very safe. Um, use the Raycons everywhere in your life other than when you're riding a go kart. I really appreciate everyone that's been snapping me pictures of their Raycons 
after they've used my code buyraycon.com forward slash beat-em-ups, they've got 15% off. You could be just like them. I'm gonna go listen to my Raycons now, bye. Sadly, it's been raining every day since we tested out the go-kart, so I haven't really made any progress, but let me go show you what I'm thinking. First step is to try and just get this attached to this. Should be able to put that there. This is obviously way too long. It's actually about perfect. I don't really need this one. Okay, let me try and zip tie this. We'll see how that goes. Okay, believe it or not, that is super sturdy. Yeah, I can't budge that. It's so simple. Maybe too simple. Maybe way too simple. Now the part that I was really worried about, attaching the, the Mario Kart to this thing. Ooh, I don't want to block the camera though. It looks like I can actually, this slots perfectly in between the steering wheel and the front of the car and it won't get in the way. That's honestly too perfect. How is this working? And so I went to work, zip tying a Nintendo toy to a PVC pipe that was also zip tied to a go-kart. I was so sure this wasn't going to work. It actually, it has give. It's weighted enough that it's putting pressure on it so it's hitting the ground. But if I do go over any kind of bump, I really feel like it's gonna have that give. And this was my face when I began to realize this might actually work. All right. Let's do a test. Let's see how it drives just here in the garage. Oh, no, I don't really have a great deal of room to test this. I don't see why this wouldn't work. I can't see what's happening on that screen down there right now, but not only is he moving perfectly with me, the wheels are even moving. Well, I would think that's gotta work. Let me grab one of the gates because if it can recognize the gate, it's, it's working. So now I gotta make the gate. I'm really excited. This is actually going to work. The amount of footage I have of a 30 year old me struggling to get out of a go-kart is staggering. All right, so another long story short, I can't just throw down the gates and drive through them with a massive PVC pipe in the way. So I'm creating these very elegant blue flag poles and zip tying the gates to them at their usual exact height. And the AR camera only cares about this part anyway. It just looks for this big border in the number one. It doesn't really even care about this picture too much. Well, this is all I need. Zip tie is really our champion in this project. Yes, they are. I'm putting a lot of faith in just several zip ties. Boom, bam, for beautiful gates to race through. Hi. I'm pretty happy with how these turned out. I mean, they're exactly what I expected and they're gonna work. So now that we have the flags, we have the cart attached to the other cart, you would think that we're ready. Problem is, this awesome go-kart doesn't exactly look the part. I'm gonna fix that. MB flag number one. First flag. Do not blow that away. I didn't count for wind in this plan either. What do you think about all this? It's pretty cool. Uh, I've never seen anybody try to do this. Never seen the game in person before. It'll be pretty neat if it works on this track. It's just Nintendo bringing more people together. There you go. That's what they do. <laughs> Putting a lot of faith in some rocks. Three quarters of a mile track. If I can make this work, the only way anyone's ever gonna top this is if they go over a mile. You know they're gonna try. But hey, well, at least you're first, right? Last flag. Please let this work, Nintendo. Stay. Stay. I never intended this to be this extravagant, but we have a quarter of a mile go-kart racetrack. We have the Mario Kart home circuit attached to this kart, which I have dressed up to look like the smaller kart. We have the four gates 
I'm gonna hold my switch and very slowly see if I can create the course. Okay, so I'm pulling up on the first gate <laughs> and it acknowledges the first gate. So everything's so far so good. Set up race, custom race. We'll do 50 CC, I don't know what the difference is. Create course. So I'm about to create, hopefully, the world's first three quarter of a mile Mario Kart home circuit course. Okay, there's gate one. I'm not realizing this is gonna take a while. I'm not sure if there's a speed limit here. I think the game is very confused right now. Gate two is still a long way away. I am slightly worried because the map has disappeared from the screen that we're not gonna be able to connect to gate two. Oh, it's changed and says drive through gate one. Damn it. We might need to go back to gate one. Very upsetting. So I got up this straight away and then it told me to go back to gate one. So I'm gonna try one more time slower, sadly, and see if I can get to gate two. I guess this time I'll test when it says go to gate one, like how big we can make it. Oh, uh, stay connected, baby. This time I'm holding A on the switch and making the wheels go forward, hoping that it tricks it into thinking it is actually driving. Last time I wasn't doing that. Still says drive through gate two. We've ran out of paint, try again. So that time it was working, but it ran out of paint, meaning we can't make a course that big. Just for the sake of doing it, I'm gonna race the course. It will still register each of the gates, it just won't be a course that we've made, meaning it won't augment all of the reality. It won't turn it into a Mario Kart race, but it will still acknowledge each of the gates as we go through it. And I can still try and set a time for that. To clarify, Mario Kart Home Circuit has an explore mode, which is still kind of a mode. It's still kind of the game. You can drive around with the gates, just not on a created course. Then we'll try making just a smaller course with what we have. That's gate one. But first, if I can pull this off, it'll still be the longest adventure mode lap in history. Okay, gate two, can I time it? Oh! <laughs> Oh no, this gate's blown. I'm gonna have to try and uh, finagle my way around this one. <laughs> gate three, there we go. <laughs> A little tougher than I would have liked. So this shot here, I knew it was gonna sweep around me and I had the chance to say something really awesome. That was actually a pretty cool shot. And that's what I chose to say. Oh well. Gate four! <laughs> that is a full lap of the course. I don't know if anyone took my time for me. I'm gonna guess probably the fastest this course has ever been run in general. All right. Let's settle down here. At the start, th th this wasn't the plan to begin with. I think we got carried away in the glitz and the glamour of being at a mile long go-kart course. The plan initially was just to get this kart to work with home circuit. So let's go back to that plan and actually get a course made here and race the course before it starts to rain because it's looking overcast. So that's what I'm gonna do now. We've placed the flags at a bit more of a reasonable distance and I'm gonna try creating a course in Mario Kart Home Circuit using my go-kart. 50cc, maybe I should go higher because I'm definitely racing higher. And then create course, we'll be okay. I mean, I'm going really slow. The cart has left the ground. Please do not pick up the cart. Oh my God, I thought the cart left the ground. Okay, apparently I can't rush this, so let me go slower. The guys that let us in here are now thinking to themselves, what have we done? My God, dude, it's telling me gate one again. So hopefully this time, with a little bit of added pressure on the pipe, we can keep it on the ground. Okay, I'm not gonna push luck too much. I'm just gonna turn here, go around a three. Got it, one gate left. Once the course is made, I can be a little bit more reckless because reckless, the course is made. It's just making the course. It needs to connect the whole way. All right, we did it. Back to gate one and then the course is made. However, this turn would prove to be difficult time and time again. Cart has left the ground. 
We were so close. We were right there. You want to move that closer? We try it one more time. At this point, I had given it my all. Days of planning had led up to this moment. With storm clouds overhead, the threat of lightning might pull us off the course at any second. We don't have time for any more mistakes. Come on, man. We just got to make it. Gate four. Just got to turn it around. Then, on the very last turn, disaster. Wait, 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 wait. I can still do it. <laughs> I can still do it. I will get it back, it'll make the course, and then we put it back on and we race. <laughs> we did it! <laughs> oh my god. Here's your new course. Here, take a, take a look at it so I'm not lying. We did it in kind of a roundabout way. Okay, so now we can race. I just got to get it back on. <laughs> that was so perfect. I know it was. Okay, three, two. Oh God, what did they go? Did I, oh, I'm blasting past them. <laughs> they can't keep up. Sorry. <laughs> Place you in. Uh, first now. Wait, that count is going through the gate? Yeah, I think it did. Okay, I'm holding a bomb. That's gate three. So I'm already in gate three in first place. I just got blue shelled. Blue shelled again. Okay, there's, there's some races coming past. I've lost my bomb, sadly. This is actually pretty funny that I can see the races on the course. Not that I can keep up with them, but. All right, there's gate four. We're about to complete one lap. My God, it's finally working. We're on. Two out of three. I have no idea where the other racers are at this point. If I'm leagues ahead of them, or they're super far behind me, but I'm picking up objects. I have a mushroom. Let's see what happens. <laughs> I have a mushroom. What do you think happens when I boost? I can't even, I don't even know what button it is to boost. Oh, there we go, Mario's going fast. Oh my God, at least it's finally working. Get this gate. Nice, nice. Last lap, gate two. Gate three. Oh, I'm in sec. I'm in third now. Okay, one more gate. Do not slip off. Do not slip off. If I hit this gate, I have finished the race. Oh my god. I successfully did it. I raced a game of home circuit with an actual go-kart attached to the other go-kart. I'm counting it. This has to still be how, how long would you think that is? Like quarter mile? Half a quarter mile? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Quar in kilometers. Quarter, quarter mile? One tenth of a mile home circuit course on an actual go-kart. Uh, I, don't, I don't care. I'm sure some sort of record was broken. I'm just trying to find it. Either way, I had fun. It's been a blast. Now, I have been dying to race this course at least once without this thing on. Do you guys mind if I really quickly just race the course? Time me. What's the fastest time of the course? 46 seconds. Easy. I honestly don't know why I made this video, or even decided to do this in the first place, but I have to say it was some of the most fun I've had in a long time. I'm not sure if we technically set any records, the longest adventure mode lap or the first Mario Kart home circuit course completed on a go-kart. It really doesn't matter, I guess. All that matters is that I had a good time and made a fun video. Oh, well, technically I did set one record for sure. That was very fun. What was my time? I got you at 212.58. Nice, so record for the course? On this thing, sure. Oh, <laughs> well, that's something. That's for you. I'm yeah. setting so many <laughs> records today. <laughs> what a blast. It's been really fun, thank you. Yeah. I appreciate it. Well, I think we accomplished several tasks today. I don't even know how many records we may or may not have broken, but it wouldn't have been possible without Kart Moto. 
I appreciate you guys so much, really. In fact, can you take this helmet off? Because I can't breathe. We are in Crescent, Texas at Jason to Motorsport Ranch. It's uh, three quarters of a mile go-kart track, and we're definitely known for the supermotos out here, too. I mean, I've had a blast, and I need somewhere to drive this thing from now on, so I know where I'm going. Shorewood, why don't you go around and pick up all the flags? Don't mind the fact they all have super heavy rocks on them and you're on a tiny go-kart without any where to store anything. You'll be fine. Why did I think I was, I could do that? 